Not all the time do we see an NBA star perform well in their first playoff appearance. Even the best players get nervous. In recent times, however, we've seen some fantastic performances from players who are making their playoff debut. So in this video, let's go back in time and take a look at some of the greatest playoff debuts in NBA history. Some are more recent, others happened a long time ago. But one thing is certain, these guys, these superstars entered their first postseason and immediately proved to the world they've arrived. How's it going folks, my name's Andy, and without further ado, let's begin. Luka Doncic, 2020 Luka's playoff debut in the 2020 playoffs was a sight to behold. While he only played in a single playoff series, he took the postseason by storm and went off against the Clippers, a top 5 defensive team in the league with two of the best wing defenders in the NBA. There's no rhyme or reason why a 20-year-old is capable of doing so much damage and looking like a seasoned vet in his first ever appearance in the playoffs. He looked like he's been doing it for years. Not just that, but Luka also broke a 71-year-old NBA record. He scored 42 points in his first ever playoff game, the most out of any playoff debut in NBA history. It broke George Mikan's previous record of 37 points in 1949. Despite getting knocked out of the first round, that accomplishment alone makes Luka deserve a spot on this list. David Robinson, 1990 What made Robinson's playoff debut extra special was that he was also a rookie. The Spurs were so bad before he got there. After a dominant rookie campaign, the Admiral continued his excellence straight into the postseason. Robinson led the Spurs to Game 7 of the second round before falling to the Portland Trailblazers, who would eventually reach the NBA Finals. Throughout the playoffs, he averaged 24-12 and 12 with 4 blocks a game. In fact, almost immediately, he was considered the best center in the NBA, partly due to Hakeem not playing that well at this time. Robinson was thought of as the next center who could take over the NBA, and as his career progressed, there was a mixed bag of results. He had his moments, but the allure of his playoff debut slowly faded away. Still, at one point in time in 1990, the young David Robinson was the guy who everyone was talking about. Paul Pierce, 2002 It took a few years for Pierce and the Celtics to work their way into the playoffs. He was drafted in 1998, but it wasn't until 2002 where Pierce made his first appearance in the postseason. Nonetheless, it was against the defending Eastern Conference champions, the Sixers, who, the season prior, just made an iconic run to the NBA Finals. While the Celtics had the higher seed, the Sixers were the team that fans wanted to see. The star power of Allen Iverson was out of this world, while Pierce, on the other hand, he was still kind of overlooked at this time. It was the first season he became an all-star, and his playstyle wasn't exactly the most exciting to watch. He had that old man's game right when he came in. However, it was this first round series against the Sixers that cemented his place as a legitimate star in the NBA. Against the fourth best defense in the league, Pierce feasted, averaging over 30 a game as he outplayed Iverson across the board, both in raw numbers and efficiency. Pierce also led the Celtics past the Pistons in the second round, the team that would eventually dominate the East for the next six years. He showed he could still perform against whatever the defense throws at him. It didn't matter who he played against, he was getting his buckets. In the conference finals though, the Celtics lost a tightly contested matchup against the Nets. It was a slugfest, but overall it was a phenomenal playoff run for Pierce. You could say this was the moment the Celtics decided, you know what, let's build around him. After this postseason, Pierce became their clear-cut franchise cornerstone. Trey Young, 2021 I don't think there's anyone in NBA history who entered their first postseason with this much pizzazz. Right from the get-go, Young let the world know he's here. The first round series between the Hawks and Knicks was supposed to be the most competitive series of the first round. Two young teams with the same record, both appearing in the playoffs for the first time in a while. But instead, it was Trey who captured the attention of everybody. He averaged nearly 30 points and 10 assists a game. He did it again against Philly, in a series that the Hawks had no business winning. Trey scored over 30 points in three different games. 
He carried that energy to Milwaukee, where he stunned the Bucks with a 48-point explosion in Game 1. Though the Hawks lost the series, it was a miracle they were two games away from the Finals. That 48 points, by the way, tied for the fourth most points scored among all players in the Conference Finals in history. Like I said, they had no business getting past the Sixers, and they had no business giving the Bucks all they can handle. Prior to the start of the playoffs, people questioned if Trey could even handle the pressure. Will he be forced to change his playstyle when the defense tightens up? The Knicks and Sixers had the third and second best defensive rating in the league that year. So for Trey to maintain his composure and still play at a high level, that's super impressive for a guy as young as he was. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 1970 There isn't much to be said about how impressive Kareem was right when he came in. The dude averaged over 28 points a game as a rookie, but in the playoffs, he turned it up another notch. He increased that to over 35 a game. The Bucks won twice as many games as the year before, and Kareem was the sole reason for that. Like David Robinson, Kareem was a rookie in his playoff debut. He had a game where he recorded 46 points and 25 rebounds, in the series clinching victory over the Philadelphia 76ers. With Will Chamberlain aging and soon to be out of the NBA, Kareem was the next up. He took over the reins as the most dominant center for almost the next two decades. In fact, that 46 and 25 stat line I just mentioned, he became only the second rookie ever to record 40 plus points and 25 plus rebounds in a playoff game. The first rookie to do that was Wilt Chamberlain. Oh, everyone knew Kareem's career was about to take off, and it did. In his sophomore season, he won the MVP and led the Bucks to the championship. Heck, he even trounced Will and the Lakers along the way. LeBron James, 2006 LeBron's first ever playoff series also turned out to be one of the greatest of his career. That legendary series against the Washington Wizards saw him and Gilbert Arenas go head-to-head. -head. Braun averaged a staggering 35.7 points a game, en route to a Game 6 victory. He had two games where he scored over 40 points, and the dude averaged over 47 minutes per game, which is even crazier than the points. Not bad for his first ever playoff series, but even more impressive? He also had a stellar performance against the Detroit Pistons in the next round, and pushed them to seven games before falling. When up against even an elite defensive team, LeBron still found ways to pick them apart. This was a seasoned Pistons team that was by far the most dominant team of the East for half a decade. So getting pushed to seven games by a 21-year-old LeBron, that's worthy of praise. He would get his revenge a year later, but in these 06 playoffs, his first outing was all that we hoped for, and even more. Devin Booker, 2021 For many years, Booker and the Suns struggled to make the playoffs. While he himself was improving year by year, his team was not. Well, at least not really. That is, until the 2020-21 season, when they acquired Chris Paul. Booker reached new heights in the 2021 playoffs and became known as a closer. In the deciding Game 6 against LA, he secured the win with a 47-point performance, 15 of 22 shooting. Against Denver, he capped off the sweep with 34 points. In the finals, he had two games of scoring 40-plus points. By the end of the entire run, Booker set a new NBA record, the most total points scored by any player in their first postseason. This record was previously held by Rick Barry in 1967, with 521 points. And over 50 years later, Booker shattered it, and set a new record with 601 points. That record will probably stay for a long time, too. Very rarely do we see a star in their playoff debut reach the NBA Finals and play in so many playoff games, and actually score that much. Magic Johnson, 1980 We've seen players dominate as a rookie in the playoffs before, but Magic's accomplishments are something else. He still has the honor of being the first and only player in NBA history to win Finals MVP as a rookie. When Kareem went down with an injury, rookie Magic Johnson stepped in at center and had the greatest elimination game of all time. 42 points, 15 rebounds, and 7 assists. Throughout the entire playoff run, he led all players in assists and steals, while also nearly averaging a triple-double. That would be a huge accomplishment for any player, let alone a rookie in his playoff debut. 
Magic's legendary playoff performance was a preview of how the rest of his career went. Right from the start until the very end, he ushered in a new era of basketball that captivated fans around the world. And you know what? Despite all the championships, all the accolades he accumulated over his career, that first ever postseason is still his most memorable. When you think of Magic in the playoffs, the first thing that comes to mind is his 1980 finals performance. At least that's what comes to my mind, and that will never change. Anyway, that's all folks, those were some of the greatest NBA playoff debuts of all time. Let me know which other players deserve to be on this list, which ones did I miss? Let me know in the comments, thank you all so much for watching, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and of course, as always, I'll see you next time. Peace.